What makes Japan's Type 10 tank so good? The Type 10 TKX is a fourth generation advanced main battle tank, or MBT, produced by Mitsubishi Heavy Industries for the Japan Ground Self Defense Force. But what makes Japan's Type 10 tank so good? Let's find out. Hey guys, and welcome to our channel, Alpha Tanks, where we tell you all about military tanks, from the most famous World War II battle tanks to the most advanced battle tanks at present. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, make sure you subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future while you're at it. And let's get started! As a country that produced exceptionally poor tanks during World War II, Japan had a lot to overcome in the post-war period. During a period of exceptionally rapid tank development, wartime tanks such as the Type 97, Chiha, were a decade or more behind the rest of the world. As Japan rebuilt its industry and specialized in automobiles and trucks, it also established a small tank industry to replace American M4A 3E8 and M24 tanks donated to the Ground Self-Defense Force. The Type 61, Type 74, Type 90, and now the Type 10 tanks are all credible designs capable of reducing Japan's potential adversaries' tanks to smoldering scrap. Surprisingly, each design has very little in common with previous versions. Type 10 was designed to be a much smaller tank with greater tactical and strategic mobility. Much of Japan's road system is designed to accommodate smaller cars and trucks, and bridges in mountainous terrain frequently have weight restrictions. There are also laws prohibiting the operation of heavy vehicles, including GSTF tanks, on most roads. Type 10 was designed to be a smaller tank that could comply with road laws and cross some of the larger civilian vehicle bridges. This also increases Type 10's suitability for air and sea transport. The MBT can perform a variety of missions such as anti-tank warfare, mobile strikes, special operations force attacks, and other contingencies. The Type 10 MBT replaces the Type 74 and Type 90 MBT fleets of the JG SDF. It has significantly improved maneuverability, protection, and firepower and performance. The Technical Research and Development Institute began the development of the Type 10 MBT in 2002. The tank prototype was completed in 2006, and running tests were conducted in 2007 and 2008, followed by shooting and networking trials. TRDI completed the development in 2009 and began manufacturing the tanks in 2010. In 2010, the Japanese Ministry of Defense placed an order with the main contractor, Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, for up to 13 Type 10 MBTs. The tank Tanks entered service with Japan in January 2012. As of May 2020, the JGSDF operated 76 Type 10 tanks. The JGSDF demonstrated the Type 10 MBT capability in May 2020 during the annual live fire exercise at the Higashi Fuji Firing Range in Gotemba, Shizuoka Prefecture. The main battle tank has a crew of three people, including the commander, gunner, and driver. It measures 9.4 meters long, 3.2 meters wide, and 2.3 meters tall. The tank's gross weight is 44 tons, and its combat weight is 48 tons. Trains and trucks can transport the MBT. The turret on the Type 10 MBT is equipped with an automatic loading system. To determine enemy targets, the turret can be rotated 360 degrees in traverse. It is armed with a 120mm L44 smoothbore gun licensed from Japan Steelworks. Smoke grenade launchers are also installed in the turret. The Type 10 MBT secondary armament consists of an M2HB, 12.7mm heavy machine gun, and a Type 74, 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The tank's hull is armored with nano-crystal steel, fourth-generation modular ceramic composite armor to protect against RPG rounds, heat projectiles, and anti-tank missiles. To change the protection levels, the add-on modules can be easily removed or reinstalled. It is also equipped with MBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. To engage stationary and moving targets, the Type 10 tank is outfitted with an improved fire control system and a laser range finder. By displaying the necessary information, the onboard digital battlefield management system improves situational awareness. The commander station has a panoramic sight mounted on the right side of the turret. It allows for day and night observation, as well as target identification. The tank also has a sophisticated C4I equipment, allowing it to communicate and share information with other tanks in the GS. SDF network. 
During integrated combat operations, the intelligence C4I system allows the MBT to collaborate with troops in the infantry's outdoor computer network, Regiment Command Control System. The Type 10 tank is powered by four-cycle, eight-cylinder diesel engines with water cooling and continuously variable transmission gearbox. The engine has a power output of 1,200 horsepower. The active hydropneumatic suspension system is another noteworthy feature. This provides a smooth ride during cross-country travel, making firing while moving much more accurate. It also allows the tank to adjust its stance like a low-rider car, raising the left, right, front, or rear to conform to the terrain. The suspension system can assist the tank and making full use of broken terrain to fight from a hold-down position in which the tank uses the terrain to reduce its profile while remaining capable of engaging targets in front of it. This provides superior mobility. It has a forward and reverse speed of approximately 70 kilometers an hour. It has a range of about 440 kilometers. In addition to armor, the tank is protected by a laser warding receiver, which alerts crews when a laser-guided missile beam paints the tank. The warning receivers link to a set of smoke dischargers, which automatically envelop the tank in a smoke screen whenever an enemy laser is detected. Although Type 10 is an excellent overall design, much of its early development occurred before the use of improvised explosive devices, particularly those employing shaped charges, became commonplace. Because of its lightweight, the tank is likely to have only minimal protection against blasts from below. Because Japan has relaxed its arms export ban, the Type 10 could be the first Japanese tank ever exported. However, the advantages it has over similar time-tested vehicles such as the M1 Abrams and Leopard 2 are relatively minor, and it's unlikely that the Type 10 will find much success overseas. Regardless, Japan's committed to producing its own tanks, so whether it succeeds in the international market or not, Japan will continue to pay a premium for its own homegrown main battle tanks. On January 4, 2014, sources revealed that Turkey was interested in signing a joint development agreement for tank engines based on the engine of Type 10. The engine was intended to power the Turkish tank Altay. However, negotiations failed, and the agreement was off the table by March 2014. The reasons included Japan's strict arms export ban laws, Turkey's intention to export the Altay, and Japan's reluctance to license the joint engine. The development costs are estimated to be around 450 million U.S. dollars in 2008, with each unit costing around 6.5 million dollars. In December of 2009, the Japanese Ministry of Defense formally acknowledged the Type 10. The Japanese Ministry of Defense ordered 13 Type 10 tanks in 2010. These Type 10 tanks entered the JGSDF service in January of 2012. There are currently 76 Type 10 tanks in service. Due to the weight limits of roads and bridges in other parts of Japan, the Type 90 main battle tank was only deployed in Hokkaido. One of the primary goals of Type 10 is to be able to deploy anywhere in Japan. Size and weight reductions have made the Type 10 six tons lighter than the Type 90, which now weighs only 44 tons. The Type 10 can cross 84% of Japan's 17,920 bridges, compared to 65% for the Type 90 and 40% for mainstream Western main battle tanks. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you, and we'll catch up in the next video.